going on y'all? Halo Drama here. For the last time, tonight anyway, um, back with my last interview. Uh, I'm buzzed now. Bear with me. Um, That's why they built the place. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just got finished with the Grunge DNA show. Been talking about them all night. Been talking about them for the last couple of years. Amazing band. And this right here is Josh, the guitarist for the band. How you doing, sir? Doing good. Great Thank show. You. Um, greatly appreciate your t uh, taking away and uh, giving me a little bit of your time. No problem. Um, I tried to think of different questions. I've asked them all the same questions, but I'll ask you also, because everybody has their different takes on it. Why not? If if you had to pick, and I promise next time, I'll try to think of some different questions. <laughs> but for now, this is what we got. Um, if you had to think, what would you say it's probably your best show or venue. If you could pick one. Let me see if it's a four-way consensus. Because I know what all the other three said the same thing. I know the other guys probably ended up saying the House of Blues. But I also remember we had a fantastic time at uh, Lock 3. I, um, out in Akron. Yeah, he mentioned that too. Yep. Was, uh, <laughs> that's probably one of the most fun that I've ever had. We ended up opening up for a Metallica tribute. Oh, nice. Hell and. Yeah. Uh, there was, uh, like, their lead singer, he looked and acted a lot like a lefty Lars. Or not a lefty Lars, a lefty James. James. Yeah. And, like, he had, like, the right guitars. He had the right attitude. I mean, it was, it was just fantastic hanging out with them and getting a chance to, like, ask him questions and stuff and talk about gear and, you know, typical nerd stuff. Oh, no, it's all good. Uh, the drummer and I were talking about D&D &D and Magic the Gathering the last time we talked. Yeah. A couple doors down right there. Yeah, no, I saw that when we pulled up. Yeah, um, I've been out of the Magic game for uh, a long time now, and my wall has thanked me ever since. Uh, I, I bet. <laughs> I'm so kind of ensconced in that. But anyway, it's, it, no, no, it is what it is. It's fun. <laughs> and if you had to pick, what do you think would have been maybe what you would consider the worst show that you guys ever had? If you had to pick one at all. Uh, well, I'd, I'd probably tie it a couple... Because there was a, a show that we played not that long ago where, you know, fight broke out. Oh, had to, somebody ended up drag, being dragged out of the venue, and then he ended up running naked down the street. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. And, no, I can dig it. And then uh, one of the other ones that we played was much earlier on. We were playing another place, and, uh, you know, another, like, argument broke out into a near fight in the audience, and I ended up having to drag one of the guys out. It's like, dude, you're coming with me, just because... I had a wireless, I'm a bigger guy than he was. He's like, hey, let go of me, man. I'm like, dude, if I let go of you, you're dying tonight. No doubt. So, it's just one of those moments where uh, I'm sure if he saw me again, he'd thank me, but it's probably been eight, nine years. Oh, right, right. But, probably didn't even remember that happened. Nope. I mean, especially considering everybody's. Right. You know. And I say last question, because I know you got to do your thing and we got to get the heading home. Yeah. Um, what do you think would be your favorite song to cover? If you had to pick one. And I know that's a vague question because you guys are all over the place with it. Uh, we are. Part of me wants to say Seven Nation Army just because I get to throw in a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, is out of the blue. Right. It's like, wait, is he playing that? Yes, he is. Right. And, uh, it's I love of, how you guys mix it up like that sometimes, yeah. too. It's a lot of fun when people come up after that. It's like, dude, did you play y and in the middle of that? I'm like, yes, we did. Right. But, uh... Like favorite song on the overall? I'd probably have to say uh, Thundercat 65. Nice. Hell yeah. Great song. Um, it's, uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun to play. I can dig that. And it usually signals the end of the night. I can dig that. <laughs> I know as soon as I hear the chords of, uh, 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 oh my God, Temple. Um, Temple of Dog. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm like, oh yeah, they're about to wrap it up. But I know that, I know that song's got to be taxing on the voice. It is, but there's... Yeah, there's only one time where we attempted it twice, and that was unfortunately during uh, Chris Cornell's passing. Oh, yeah. So I attempted it. First time went well. Second time was like, oh! It just didn't work. There's just nothing there. Right. I'm like, dude, I tried. No, uh, I can but, dig it. Great closer, and I, and I can definitely understand why. I'm sure that's very yeah. taxing. But, all right, this, again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Were you still talking? I'm sorry. I may have been no, we're, good. we're good. We're good. Um, again, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Like no I said, problem. Josh, Grunge DNA. Check him out. I'll put links up. All that good stuff. But not tonight, because when I get home, I'm passing the fuck out. Yeah. Um, we're but, not scary. Come up talk to us. Right. Yeah, they're going to be in North um, Middleburg Heights next Friday, North Ridgeville next Saturday, yep. and then the weekend after that, two shows in Cleveland. 
check them out if you have time. You, it will not be a waste. I can 100% guarantee I've been to double digits amount of these guys' shows. So I can tell you from personal experience. But as I always say, I want to the next time when I have time. So until then, peace.